Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Ubuntu 10.10 .10 in VM Workstation. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually download the, the ISO from Ubuntu's website. So if you open up a web browser and just type in download Ubuntu and then if you click the, the top link here to ubuntu.com then as you can see it brings you to the download page and what we're looking for is Ubuntu Desktop Edition. Uh, we want 10.10, .10, which is the latest version, and for this, we're just going to get the 32 bit edition. So click on Start Download, and then that will download. I've actually downloaded Ubuntu already to save time in the video. Okay, so once you've actually downloaded the ISO, the next thing you need to do is actually open up VMware Workstation and uh, what you'll be presented with the Home tab. And on the Home tab, you've got New Virtual Machine, New Team, or Open an Existing VM or Team. So obviously, we're creating a new virtual machine, so we click New Virtual Machine. And then ask here, do we want to do a typical or a custom uh, installation? We're just going to do a typical. And here it asks us where we're we installing from. Are we installing from a DVD, from an ISO, or do we want to install the operating system later? And for this, we want to choose I will install the operating system later. Click on Next. So, what it's going to ask you next is about the operating system. So, in our case, it's going to be Linux and Ubuntu. Click on Next. And then we need to give the virtual machine a name. So in this case it's done this for us, Ubuntu, and it's going to ask us where do we want to save it. So for this demonstration, I'll just create a desktop folder, and then click OK. And then we need to click Next, and now it's going to ask us what size of um, hard disk do we want to create, virtual hard disk. So we're going to call, just keep it at 20 gig, click on Next, and then click on Finish. And this now creates us a new tab called Ubuntu, and it gives us some options. It tells us here uh, how much memory the virtual machine has got, how many processors, how big the hard disk is, which is 20 gig, the CD drive, floppy, etc., etc. So what we need to do now, we need to actually click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings, and from here, if we wanted to, we could we could give it a gig for memory. But what we're interested in, we need to go to the CD slash DVD option. And over here, we have two options. We have connection. We have physical drive, so that would be from a DVD, or from the or use an ISO image file, which is what we downloaded from uh, Ubuntu earlier. So we're going to select use ISO image, click on browse, go to the desktop, and select the image. That's all we need to do for now. Click on OK, and as you can see, CD slash DVD using file. There's our ISO. Next thing we want to do is click on power on this virtual machine. And as you can see it's starting to power on as like a normal PC would. Just give it a few seconds. Okay, so now you've got three options here. We need to select the language, so in my case it's English, and then we've got these two options here. You can try Ubuntu first, so it'll actually load up the desktop and you can actually use it and experience it live, or if you know what it's like and you just want to install it, you click on the Install Ubuntu option. So for this demonstration, we're going to click on Install Ubuntu. Okay, at this stage it's now saying for best results, please ensure that this computer has at least 2.65 gig of available hard drive space, but it, it does. Uh, it's plugged into a power source, which it is, and it's connected to the internet, and it is. You can download the updates while installing, I think we'll do that. And here we've got an option to install third-party software, but we'll leave that for the time being. Click on forward. So it's now asking us what we want to do with the available space for, on the hard disk. And in this case, we're going to erase and use the entire disk. <clears throat> okay, at this stage, it's now asking to select a drive, but there is only one drive. And then we're just going to click on Install Now. 
okay it's now asking me where I am and I'm actually based in the UK so I'll just leave that on London click on forward now it's asking for the keyboard layout so it's just United Kingdom United Kingdom let's just test to make sure I get a at symbol which I do and then click on forward okay so it's now asking for my name we'll just call this Ubuntu VM so my username is fine give myself a password and it's asking me now when do I want to have it to log me in automatically or require my password to log in um, I think for this I'll just use require my password to log in click on forward And that's it for now. Just got to sit back and wait for the for the installation to finish. So I'm going to pause the video and come back once it's finished. And there you go. Once the installation is finished, you'll get this message here. And all you have to do is click on the Restart Now option. So as you can see, it's now shutting down all these processes, and you just need to press Enter. There we go, that's the virtual machine starting back up. So as you can see now, we're now presented with a, a login screen. And here's the user that I created earlier. And it's now asking me for the password. Put the password in there and click login. Okay, and there you go, and that's um, Ubuntu installed inside a virtual machine.